But somebody said yesterday that I loved, he said, I didn't know what to expect. He said, now that I've seen it, I understand why people travel from so far to see it. Yeah, I do too. Okay, what you're looking here is a project of love, honor, and education. And now we can all see it, finally. We followed the story of Dr. Howard Tucker for the last couple of years because He's 101 years old, he's a neurologist, and still working, and the subject of a new documentary. Yeah, what an example. That documentary premiered Sunday at the Cleveland International Film Festival. Senior health correspondent Monica Robbins ups, updates us now on what's next. There are many legends in medicine, and Dr. Howard Tucker can easily be counted as one. A neurologist for 75 years earned him the Guinness World Record of Longest Practicing Doctor. Got his law degree at 67. At 101, he became a TikTok sensation, racking up millions of views. And now he's the star of the documentary film, What's Next? I don't think I've done anything except enjoy myself on my path through life. It's all been fun. The film, three years in the making, debuted at the Cleveland International Film Festival, a project born when his grandson noticed the then 98-year-old doctor sneaking out of the house in the middle of the pandemic to help patients at St. Vincent Charity Medical Center. I'm just so uh, so proud of my grandfather, and I'm in awe of him every day. Austin and film director Taylor Taglianetti spent weeks chronicling Dr. Tucker's past and current history. The most profound experience of my my life. There's no one like him and I truly feel like I have the keys to knowing how to live a meaningful life thanks to him. Dr. Tucker posed for pictures, autographs and answered questions about his life. The film inspires us to think differently about age and perhaps career choices. They are our heroes and I'm hoping that this movie inspires people to want to go into this profession and give their all just the way that Howard does. For Austin, it was the chance of a lifetime to learn more about his grandfather. I've had a great time bonding with him um, and spending time with him on set, um, and it's just something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. As for Dr. Tucker, he still doesn't see what the big deal is all about. I don't think there's any reason I should be there, except that I was lucky enough and blessed enough to attain this age. I think there's more reasons than just that. Now, the movie will be available on the Cleveland International Film Festival streaming service between April 14th through the 21st. It will also be shown at the Miami Film Festival in South Beach on April 13th. And I put links to more info on WKYC.com. And their goal is to hopefully get this shown around the world at different film That'd festivals. Be cool. I yeah. want to see it on my streaming service on my TV yeah. so I can just click on it and That'd watch. Be nice. I have not seen it yet. I'm guessing among his tips for a long life is to stay busy. One of them, maybe? Yeah, absolutely. It's stay active, stay moving. And uh, he's very big on keeping a positive attitude mm -hmm. and no smoking. That's yeah. when the number one thing he says, don't smoke. Yeah. I was thinking about that positivity thing because think about the toll we know, thanks to you, that stress takes on our bodies yeah. and our minds. And he still looks so positive. He does. He just has this ability to let it all yeah. roll off his back. Don't sweat the little stuff and everything is little stuff. Trust me. That's <laughs> the way to, that. Yeah, boy, yeah. you are absolutely Words right. Words from Monica Robin. Yeah. Words of wisdom. Mom, thanks. Sure.